What's going on guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. And in this video, it's gonna be a little bit different than my normal videos that I do. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I usually in the videos like stay tuned, have a ton of installs coming up, new parts for the Jeep. Well, that's kind of bit me in the butt. Um, now that winter, I guess it's still fall, but you know, now that it's starting to get dark earlier, that's killing my video time. That's usually when I come outside and make videos. So I have a bunch of parts sitting in the garage. We're gonna take a look at each one. We're gonna do a few little installs and then I wanna hear from you on what videos you wanna see next. I'm trying to prioritize them to see what you guys want to see the installs of. So we're gonna take a look at that and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about something I'm gonna incorporate that's gonna be new to the channel and I wanna hear what you have to say about that. But first, sit back and watch my cheesy intro. So welcome back and hopefully you can see something new on the Jeep. Sadly they are not that easy to install and um, it is a process and if you don't know what I'm talking about it's these beautiful rocker guards. Um, I love how they look, I love the extra added protection and they are from Barnes 4 wheel drive. Um, I've been really meaning to get these on and do a nice install video. I want this install video, you know, I want to be able to take my time because this is something we're going to have to drill into the body. We're going to put the nut certs in and, you know, I know this is something people really aren't comfortable with doing. So that, these have been in my garage for about a month and a half now and I've been trying not to spill the beans because I think that just looks sick. Uh, at first I was thinking of, uh, you know, get them color matched, painted red to the Jeep but I think black actually makes it, you know, look really badass. Um, so those are from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. I got them about the same time, a little bit after I did the rock rails and, uh, you know, kind of biting myself in the butt now because I have to take the rock rails off to put these on. So I should have done those first, but uh, those will be on there soon. Actually, right now they're just kind of, I just set them there. You could, they're not, you know, they're not on there. I'm not gonna be able to get to that today. But that is one thing that I'm looking forward to putting on the Jeep. Number two is, let's see, what should we do for number two? Um, rope guard, and I might put that on in this video. So if you watched my video talking about the ultra hook that we put on the front of the Jeep, um, <coughs> one of my daughters actually lost, she grabbed the bag of the little, uh, Nuts or the uh, the rivets you hammer in. So I called up Factor 55 and uh, they sent me another batch of those. So let's go ahead and get this rope guard on. So it's out of the way. It's gonna look pretty cool. So let's pull the ultra hook over here to the table, hammer these in real quick. So that's done. Let's move on to the next. So this next thing I actually got for next year's 36 hours of Uari. Uh, because we have to put the canoe on top, it's kind of hard to reach up there. So I got this online. I'll throw the link in the description. But what it is, is a little aluminum piece. And all you do is put it right here on your door latch. And you can use this as a step. Uh, so during 36 hours of Uari, I was stepping on my seat a lot. And I really didn't like that. So let's test this out real quick i don't know what the weight limit is i'm pretty hefty or uh thick i like that word i'm thick we're gonna test this out and see if it'll hold me up here you know oh, 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 oh. It, works. it works oh now i can do sweet jeep girl poses on here but let's see if i can get back down oh, oh, oh there we go oh cool product cool um and I'll probably just throw this right here in my center console. So for you guys that like big into the overland scene, that'd be probably pretty cool to have if you have a roof rack or anything else and you need to get up there a lot. So that's neat, pretty cheap. Um, definitely didn't really deserve its own video because that, that'd be the video. Uh, next thing. Okay, so that one was a little bit lame, I'll admit. Let's move up to something beefier and even cooler. So as you guys know, long time ago, I picked up the... Uh, Super Duty 60 uh, out of our Super Duty. And I also got the rear axle and my plans were to put those one tons on the Jeep. Now I was gonna do that, but I think I'm gonna do it this winter. I want to make a step by step by step exactly how to put a set of junkyard axles under your JK. So stay tuned for that. I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. 
And trust me, I have too, because I want to be able to romp on these 40s and not having to worry, you know, about breaking my 44. So this winter, as you can tell, we are going to get the Super Duty 60 for the front. And I decided not to go with the Sterling rear that's also under the, uh, you know, the Fords. Just because there is a gas tank clearance, I'm pretty sure on mine I could make it work. But there's a lot of scenarios where it's going to hit the gas tank. You have to go with the aftermarket gas tank, blah, blah, blah. It ends up being a lot more money than it's worth. So the more common route is to go with a 14 bolt. So this has been in my, uh, my Cherokee for a week now because it's too heavy to get out by myself. And Cassie won't help me get it out. So I need a buddy to come over here. This is like 600 pounds, but this will be a lot better for the swap. So this is a, uh, a 14 bolt rear found in, you know, the 2500s, the, uh, you know, the Chevys. Um, you want to get it from 1999 to 2006, uh, you know, ribbed casting, all that stuff. This thing is going to be beefy and great axle for the rear. Uh, I'll probably do a little shave kit because those do offer horrible ground clearance. So between that and the Super Duty 60 that we have in here, axles are set up, good to go. Um, we'll have to get the swap kits. Um, gears lockers bunch of stuff and that will be you know hopefully this winter start looking out for those videos step by step exactly how to do it and we're going to try to keep it budget friendly um i don't know why i'm walking back out here there's nothing else in here let's go back in the garage and see what's next yeah, let's just do it right now boom so a few days ago our tech industries was doing a 50 percent off sale on stuff they are not any longer making so these are their DIY uh, weld on flares for the TJ LJ. And I'm gonna weld them on right there to my, uh, on the LJ. And I think the lines look really sick. Kind of hard to get it here in selfie mode, but these will be a video. Kind of sucks because they're no longer making them. Um, so I was, you know, picked them up cheap, half off, half off, and uh, they're gonna look really good on the LJ. Um, I was gonna go with the MCE uh, flares for the rear just like I have on the JK, but uh, you know, 50% off those, definitely a good deal. And I think they'll look pretty cool. So we'll do a video on that soon, uh, longer down the road, because we are still waiting on the tags from Alaska for this. It's been four weeks. I called them up the other day. I'm like, hey, what's up? They're like, oh, we haven't processed it yet. Give it a little longer. Oh my gosh, they're like, it could be another two, four, two to four weeks. I'm like, dude, I need to drive that. I don't even know if it really works. God, so still waiting on that. That's the only bad thing about registering out of state in Alaska is it takes forever. So let's check out what's next. Ooh, little package from GPCA. These are the same people we got the grab handles from. I talked about that in a video a long time ago. Cassie's still gonna do the video on uh, the grab handles for the LJ, but these are for the hardtop. Um, so what these actually do is uh, replace the knobs for your hardtop. So instead of using a tool, they're simple hand knobs. So on mine, I actually have a set of these from Amazon. Um, I got them before I knew about these GPCA ones. And these GPCA ones knock these out of the water. So the ones I have, oh, cute. You're so cute. Look how big those GPC, uh, GPCA ones are. Um, and that reminds me, I need to clean out my interior bad. So these little ones, they are better than the screws, but it's kind of hard to tighten those down because they're tiny. So these are a lot beefier and it's gonna make removing your hard top so much easier. Um, so we got those, excited to put those on and try them out. Um, definitely a pretty cool option for you hard top guys. I would recommend getting these. That way you don't have to worry about having a tool or you know a ratchet take off your hard top every every time you want so those will be going on soon haven't had the chance to do it up here it's more this box is for more of the lj it actually is exactly for the lj but is a trailhead off-road cow intake so i don't want to spoil this too much but is an intake that draws air from the cow so it's gonna be cooler denser and almost you know similar to a snorkel because it's gonna take you know it's gonna raise that intake up a few inches less likely to suck in water. So that'll be a cool install. Um, have a discount code for you guys for this. This is for all the TJ, LJ guys. They even have one for the, uh, the XJ as well. Well, so stay tuned for that. Let's go over here to that shiny thing. Oh, so I've talked about this thing a couple video backs when I did my rear bumper, also from Barnes. Um, one real quick thing to say is Barnes is starting to make 
a bunch of Jeep line parts. Um, and their Jeep line specific parts, like their bumpers, um, armor, all that stuff is going to be a new name called Seven Slot Customs. Um, they'll still have this on the website, but they're you know kind of expanding on social media um, from Barnes to their Jeep specific line of products to Seven Slot Customs. So, you know, I went with their rear Pritchett Canyon bumper. I ended up going with their rock sliders, and then they came out with this frame chop bumper. And I was like, man, it'd be nice to have a set that all flow together. So in the front, you can tell they have the dimple die cut out. It does have a smaller stinger, more of a bull bar. And I really like that because everybody is starting to throw stingers on their Jeep. And I was like, man, I wonder what it'll look like to either not run a stinger or run a small bull bar. So this is a frame chomp bumper. I'm gonna do a full install video on this, guys. Um, one thing I really do like about it is that the winch is gonna be recessed. So it's gonna allow a little more airflow to go in. Um, the one thing with the recessed winch is that this Xeon winch is huge. It's not gonna wanna fit in there with this grill that well. So there's two options. Either get the relocation pack for this up here or cut the grill. I'm all about cutting the grill. I'm probably gonna cut the grill, but I will talk about how to do the relocation bracket if you want. Um, but when I did, uh, I need to cut the grill anyways. When I went wheeling with the 40s, it was rubbing right here on the grill um, on the side. So I'm gonna have to cut this side out to allow for that uh, the clearance and travel. So I might as well cut the bottom of the grill so I don't have to do this relocation. But I am stoked about this bumper. It looks really good. Um, it's the same width. It's not gonna stick out any further. And honestly, this thing just looks sick and it's priced well. So that will be coming up soon. And I see another product right there. So the reason I'm going through all this, I'm not trying to brag, but yeah, I'm definitely not. I mean, this is, this, this is what I do on my channel. It's like two product installs. Um, I wanna see what you guys want to see next. So go down, go down to the comments, but like, Ben, I really wanna see how you put this on, or I really wanna learn more about that. So let me know, and I will start prioritizing these installs. Um, you know, time's, time's crunching away, winter's coming, and I wanna get as much of these done as possible, but I also wanna make sure that you guys are seeing what you wanna see. So let's put this up, and let's talk about the next project. Next up, the Vector E-Doc. So I went ahead and just set it in here to show you guys what this is. A lot of you probably already know about this. This has been around for a long time and I've never heard anything bad about it. Nothing but great reviews. So this is simply gonna install in here. A couple bolts in here. I'm gonna take off this tray and put the factory one back on because I'm running the Rugged Ridge one. Um, this thing has been good. I mean, you know, it, it's a little tray. It had the phone mount a couple years ago. Sure, this thing was awesome. But now with the phones the size of tablets, this little guy doesn't work anymore and it doesn't hold the GoPro or phone steady enough to get uh, you know, some good footage. So with this guy, we can mount any one inch um, you know, clamps on here. So I can mount my GoPro, my phone, some radio mounts. I can finally mount this thing other than uh, Velcro. And it's definitely something I need as a YouTuber. You know, I can set up a GoPro facing me, GoPro facing outside. I can set up my phone there to record. It's going to do a lot of awesome, you know, mounting options. And honestly, it just looks sweet. So this will be an install coming up. Um, I was going to install this one today, but uh, there are two different models of the Jeep. There's two screws under here. If yours only has one, you have to take out the radio to get another screw in there. If you have two, it's a very simple install process. Both of them, extremely easy, but I didn't want to tear, patch, tear apart my uh, my radio today because I need to tear it apart to fix that while I'm in there. So my climate control knob broke and it's stuck on heat, which is good, not heat, but the blower forward and feet, which is great, but it sucks because there I can't use my defroster anymore. Ugh, so that's gonna be a fun fix. Um, might make a video on that, not too sure. I'm gonna have to order the whole new cluster because you can't buy this, uh, you know, just that one, the little knob broke in there. So that really sucks. But looking forward to this install, cool product, uh, pretty, you know, reasonably priced. And it's gonna allow for a lot of awesome, um, you know, mods for in there for storage. I'm trying to work on the interior. I'm also gonna do bed rug soon because my carpet is horrible, it smells horrible gross i'd rip it out and of course the um if you watch the video i posted the other day Tech switches doing great um hasn't killed my battery yet but i talked to the owner scott and what he said is if you do want to run it so the power is always on and if you don't want those lights to come on you simply cut the blue wire up there and you can tap it in to your headlights 
So whenever your headlights are on and the Jeep is running, those lights will illuminate. But whenever you turn your Jeep off, the switches will still work, but the lights won't be on. So that's awesome to know. And that discount code 20% off using the, uh, the code JKGG20 will be active for a long time. So I know a lot of you guys were asking about that. That code will stick around for a while, so check out their products. And if you need a switch pod, hit them up. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the JK. There's a few other things, but I really don't want to give those away yet. Um, there's also some that Cassie are doing to the LJ, and I don't want to give those away yet either, because I know you know she has her own channel, and I'll let her do uh, you know whatever installs and surprises she wants. But a few things I can talk about for the LJ is we are going to raise the rear uh, three quarter inch with some spring spacers because. I'm assuming the tire carrier and the armor, it's sagging down a little bit in the rear. So we're gonna put some small spacers in the rear to even that rake out. And then also um, the transfer case shift lever, shift lever um, is really loose and sloppy. Uh, that's notorious on the TJs and LJs. So we're changing that out with a Terraflex uh, shift linkage. Got that over there and that'll be a fun video. I don't know how much of that I can record because it's gonna be under the Jeep, but that's about it for upcoming mods you know i do have some stuff in the mail i try to order a couple things a month um and over the summer i was able to knock out a ton of videos but now it's just piling up so right now go down to the comment section let me know what video you want to see next and uh you know hopefully i'll be able to get to all those very soon but let's talk about something else that i want to start for the channel um once or twice a month i want to do a live video on a certain topic. I'm gonna to sit down outside, grab a beer, and uh, you know, maybe you know, a Thursday night or Sunday evening, have a live feed with you guys asking questions about that topic. So for example, the first one could be uh, axle upgrades, gear ratios, and uh, you know, pretty much everything axle related. So I'd sit down here for however long it takes, going live, and you guys can ask away. Um, I know in a lot of videos, I get a ton of comments like, hey, Ben, you know, I want to run 37s. These are axles I have. What do you recommend? Um, it's really hard to sit there and, uh, you know, answer everybody's questions because you have to wait for them to respond, wait for me to respond. And that's why I think a live video, uh, you know, Q&A would be a great idea. You know, sit down, everybody ask their questions, and hopefully we could cover pretty much everything. Um, and then, of course, that live video would be saved for the future so people can go back and watch it. Um, you know, do that one week, uh, a couple weeks later, do one on steering or um, drive shafts, you know, anything tech related like that, where a group discussion or a live video would really help. So let me know what you think about that idea. Um, if I do end up doing that, I will let you guys know a week in advance what the topic is going to be and what date I'm going live. So you can go ahead and write down your questions you'll have and uh, we'll do a great live discussion of that. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you want to see next. I have an idea of what I'm doing next, uh, you know, just based on my work schedule and how much free time I'll have off. But uh, definitely looking forward to all these upgrades. They're all great. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, building these axles this winter. So that'll be a really fun video series. But that's it, guys. Make sure to give this a fun, uh, big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for all these videos. And there are a lot more in the mail currently. Uh, but I'm not telling you those quite yet. The reason I just wanted to go through these because they've been sitting around for a while. And I don't know what people want to see next. So let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like always, this has been from JK Gear and Gadgets. And keep on jeeping on. So just keep. Hope you enjoyed the video. What should I do? I don't even know what to do with myself now. Bye. Ooh. That is a gross mustache. Sorry.